welcome to the Arcade Saga. My name is Elkin Wiersma, also known as EJ. Yes, today I'm going to repop my uh, Pafio Pedalum Blackjack, and it's over here. And it's started to become quite a nice sized plant. I have this one for years, so that's uh, sort of the plan, of course. And yet it's starting to outgrow its pots. Uh, and especially at this place over here, this is a new growth and in there are some new roots. There they are. Whoops, I'm sorry. There they are. And as you can see, it's over the rim of the pot. So we need to repot it. These don't like to be uh, grown aerial. So we need to make sure that this is in contact of uh, media. And that's why we need to repot it. But like I said, it's starting to become quite a nice sized plan, plant <laughs> and uh, it has these beautiful purple leaves. So yes, uh, today, uh, like I said, we're going to repot it and I think it's doing fairly well, but it really hates repotting. So I hope I don't lose any roots. But anyhow, we need to interfere because otherwise these roots will die off uh, anyways. So uh, let's, uh, let's do this. Let's give this a, a bit of a more room to grow on. <laughs> So yes, here we are at my uh, repotting uh, table. It's a bit different setup than we are used to on my channel and that is because my uh, camera doesn't take external mics anymore. So I need to use the mic that's internal on this camera. So that's why I need to change the setup a little bit, but I think we are okay. I tried to do my best to have it all in, uh, in shot, in focus. So here it is and it starts uh, to grow also some, quite some moss in the pot. We have another new growth over here. And um, this water meter, yes, yeah, this water gauge is now working, but it's sometimes a little bit stuck, so I will uh, change it probably as well. But that's for later on. First, we need to take it out of the pot and to see what we are dealing with. And the beautiful thing is that I use for myself what inorganic, inorganic media, so I don't have to interfere too, interfere too much with uh, the roots. Which is a big plus. It's absolutely something uh, that I really, really love of growing this way. And here it is. I always like to use this blue bucket to put my media in. Let's have a look at the tag. Yeah, it's from 2019. So almost five years in this setup and it's doing well. We have a lot of roots, so it's uh, really uh, likes this. Like I said, this is the black deck. But yeah, we need to interfere sadly because this one uh, needs some room. Those you need to go out. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Yeah, it comes out fairly g nicely, gently. There we go. Quite some Syntec in there. We just like the Syntec. That's the black stuff you see over here. Let's mm -hmm. get quite some roots. Let's get rid of that one. Look at that. And here we have a, a very nice root system. Some old leaves that can come off. These go off very easily. So we have one growing this way and one growing that way. <laughs> Let's see. And are is this one plant or not? Yes, believe it or not. I'm gonna lift it like this. You can see that they are attached. This rhizome is attached. It's one rhizome. So originally the mother plant was here and it's starting to shoot out two new growths. So yeah, they are still connected and I'll leave them like that if I can, because uh, I like having bigger plants rather than have multiples. So um, I'm gonna cut out a few leaves over here, some old leaves, there it goes. So just a little bit of maintenance here, but not much. And it needs to go in a slightly bigger pot. So I will uh, be right back. I need to look for a, a nice suitable pot for this one. Okay, and I'm back. First of all, I have my small pumice. 
These are dress shells, so they don't need extra air in there. So that's why I'm using uh, the small pumice. I'm going to reuse pumice from uh, the earlier, from what's already there. And the Cintiq as well. I'm not going to put any more Cintiq in there because I believe there's enough. So, but the pot is bigger, so I need some extra pumice. And this is the new pot. This is the old pot and this is the new pot. You can see, we're going a size up. And it should be enough, I think. And of course I need a new water gauge, like we just discussed. Give me a second. <laughs> and there it is. So this is the perfect size for it. I can easily read the level of the water. But what I like to do is take this cap off, protection cap, because these like to go stuck and then I can easily tip it and see if it bounces back. It obviously has water in there. If it stays down, I need to know that I need to water it. But yeah, these are fairly cheap and they like to, to get stuck somehow. So that's what I learned. So that's why I take these caps off. Um, and it needs to be in the bottom of the pot, nicely like this. So I'm going to put in a little layer of pumice now. Um, yeah, pumice, small pumice. It's a bit dusty because it's very dry. So that one, the water gauge stays up nicely. Like this, at least that's the plan. Now I need to <laughs> maneuver the plant back in without breaking the uh, rhizome. So I'm trying to get this very gently. Put it back in. There we go. Put it in the middle of the pot as much as I can. So we have one new growth here. Let me adjust the camera a little bit. One new growth here and one over here at this end. So that's what I'm focused on, to keep those in the middle of the pot. And I need to support it a little bit. And I lost a few roots, sadly. You see, it did break off so easily. Such a shame, but yeah, it happens. I think it will be okay, but this is not a plant that grows a huge root system, I believe, but enough for a path. But yeah, it takes a while for this one, it's a slow grower. Let's put it like that. Um, let's grab this scoop and I'm now going to pull in first of the media that's left over. Again, that's the beauty of inorganic, you can reuse it. And I like to believe that there are good bacteria in there, so I like to reuse it as much on the same plant, obviously. And if I have some left, I boil it and I can reuse it. But I do not boil these anymore, the Cintiq. If you boil this, this gets a smell. It's just not okay. <laughs> I tried it years ago, but I just, it's fairly expensive. So I wish I could reuse it, but no, no, no. You don't want to do that, I believe. <laughs> you might try it, but oh, it's horrible. It's absolutely horrible. So that, that cannot be good, in my opinion. But I don't use as much these days. Because if a bit of Cintiq here and there on some orchids is okay. But I don't need it as much as I thought in the beginning. I need to readjust a little bit because I'm right-handed. And this makes it a little bit easier for me. <laughs> yes, you guys, a repotting video. It's been a while. Some people like them, but not all. I personally do, because I think it's nice information you can get on how to grow it plants and what people do. Let me take a little bit of more um, sheet around the new growth. I just saw that it could pull off a little bit more. So the roots here on the new growth have, have way more or have an easier access to the to the media. I will show it in uh, when we're done. And this one beautiful over here and it has some Cintiq there I don't know if you can see it with some moss I'm leaving that let's uh, refill this pot I'll fill this pot not refill it. like this I'm just tapping it and this has a lot of room now it should be good for I think at least uh, three more years probably even four and maybe even five who knows who knows 
get this lens this up. Palm is out and I'm watching if I don't have any air gaps in the pot because once again these do not need, need the extra air around the roof. So the complete opposite of a fail, for example, or a Cattleya type. I leave uh, more air gaps in my, uh, my potting mixes uh, with those guys, but not with these. So, and now I'm going to grab a little bit, whoops, more new Cintiq. Is that a new grow? Looks like it. Let me uh, show you guys. That's, we just saw the old rhizome, but here, can you see that? On the end of my finger, there's a, it looks like a new growth. I had no idea they can do that. So there, there it is. This, this little part beneath that leaf. Hmm, who knows? That would be nice. Let's, let's uh, keep an eye on that. Let's see what it does, if it's a new growth or not. So you might rem rem remind me in a few months just to do an update on, I'm just curious. And sometimes I forget. But it's nice, these little updates, I believe. Let's uh, pull these leaves up a little bit so I can reach that part because I see some roots and I want to bury all these roots in the media. Oops. Don't break the new growth off. We just disgust. And that rhizome was wet. I cannot avoid it, so I am burying it again underneath the media, but it seems to do fine. It's not ideal, you might get some rot, but this was buried, like I said, so probably going to be fine. But otherwise I cannot get the media to the level that I like, that I want. So, that's why I keep on adding a little bit more. And like I said, how to bury this right hmm? So those roots are now touching media of the new growth. And that is what we want. Is it, how are we doing over here? Could be a little bit more, I believe. There we go. I think this is okay. So let's give you guys a close-up. There we are. I hope you can see. There's a bit of Cintiq with some moss on there. So that should be okay. In there, it's very hard to see, but let's say at the point of my finger, there's that new growth coming from the rhizome, the old rhizome. If it's a new growth, I think it is. I'm not completely sure. And here is the new growth that was over the edge of the pot, or the previous pot. I hope you can see it's now nicely just above the media and that's exactly what we want. So I'm going to grab a few pebbles just to uh, make it look... Oops. Sorry for the noise, make it a little bit nicer to look at. Plus it keeps the, the moisture in the pot better. And it gives some weight to the pot, which in some cases can be nice bit easier and it keeps the plant more in, in place, the pebbles, because of the weight. Just some pebbles around there and I need a few on my hands so I avoid burying that new growth which is kind of hi hiding between that leaf. <laughs> there we go, oops, almost. Let's put them into place. I think that's okay. Yeah, a few more here. That should be fine. Okay, so it's fairly, fairly easy. Said they did break off a few roots, like we discussed uh, in, earlier in the video, but luckily the majority is still on there and we are getting new roots, so that's the most important. But yeah, they really hate repotting. Luckily again, I'm uh, growing my orchids in uh, inorganic media, so I don't have to mess around with the roots too much. And it should be fine. So I'm going to give it a, a flush of uh, our old water with just a little bit of seaweed and that's it. And then uh, we will have a look at this plant again. And I will take the camera off the tripod so we can probably give a better close up 
at what we're working with or what we just done I should say <laughs> so and now it's complete with the outer pot as well so yeah this is from Alo, the brand that I like to use this is the cable tie that I have connected with the inner pot so I can uh, fairly easily lift it out as you can see it's very easy I think and here is that new growth that was growing over the edge of the pot. You can see now it's perfectly potted again. I think we uh, have some new roots in there and that is in, those are now uh, touching the media. Let me turn it around. Same story over here. You can see a bit of lighter dots over there. Those are the starts of new roots. Very close. This is Cintiq. It holds quite some moisture so it's nice and humid over there. And now I'm going to try again because I couldn't see if you, if I was in frame. <laughs> yeah, this is better. This leaf I was referring to as a new growth. I'm not sure what that is. Some dust, I believe. This is an old spike next to it, but this is absolutely a leaf. So it's probably a new growth as well. I'm very curious to see if that will develop. It's fairly, uh, it's not too deep, but it's a little bit in the media. Buried a little bit lower than the rest because of the yeah the angle it's growing or the uh, position rather than the angle. So we have some old rhizome in here. I have it now on camera that is really one plant, and it has a fairly long rhizome. As you could see on the date of my uh, my uh, tag, the reporting uh, dates that I keep here they are. So this is in August twenty four. And it started in 2018, and then I did report it in 2019. I have no idea why. And it went on for quite some years, about five years, and then needed to report again. But I had it before, before I started growing mine in self-watering. So I, I, I think I have this one for seven years, something like that, maybe eight. And that's why it has quite a long rhizome. Because what happens is that the older growth, the previous one, they start to bloom, if you're lucky <laughs> and then they start out to put a well at least a new growth sometimes two most of the times one i found with this one and then these die off so that's just what happened so you can see the leaves are getting lighter and it's a sign that this one is starting to think about leaving this world at least this older part and that's how it continues so you will be left with quite a long horizon once again we just saw in the in the earlier in the video but it is attached so i have one that's going this way and one is uh going uh that way <laughs> it's kind of funny but both of them are fairly close to the middle of the pot so i believe that this can grow on for at least two years maybe three who knows so yes i'm going to put the tag back what's where is my uh ah <laughs> I did bury it. Maybe you noticed already, but here the water grates is in here. There it goes. Whoops. It's a leaf in a way. And this is what I meant with tapping it. Sometimes it gets stuck, so I push it down and it should go up. Whoop. There it goes. So that means there's water in the reservoir. But it's almost hiding buried in leaves. <laughs> but it's okay. Uh, so yeah, I like to put my name tag where I have my water gate so I don't have to search for it too much. And now I'm going to turn it around again. And there we have it. So let's put it back on the shelf. And ta-da! Uh, there it is. And I think it looks very, very pretty. I'm really happy uh, we did this. And I caught that new growth in time. The roots weren't dead yet. But if you leave it too long, they will die off because it's just too dry. But yes, it looks nice with the rest of the uh, slipper family. <laughs> So yes, this was a fairly quick uh, repotting uh, video. Once again, it's so nice to grow them in, in organic media if you have to repot them because I don't have to touch the roots. Sometimes they break off a little bit, like we saw, but that's it. I don't have to put uh, try to take uh, media off the roots. I'm just can can leave them and put them on, and that's it. It's beautiful. As usual, if you have any questions, you know the drill, leave them below and I will get to them as soon as possible. And of course, thank you so much for watching. I really hope to see you at uh, one of my next videos. <laughs> bye bye.